Hey, thank you for using Zoho Survey. My name is Miles, and I'm going to help you get started with your first survey. The first step in creating a survey is to give a name for the survey. Let's call this one Puppy Adoption Survey. After naming the survey, we will be taken to the Survey Builder, where we can build our survey by simply dragging and dropping the questions from the left panel. We have around 25 plus question types to choose from, and also the options to create a survey from pre-built templates. Templates are like question banks from where you can choose questions that are relevant to your survey. Let's start with a leading question, and it's going to be a multiple choice question. I'm going to drag and drop a simple radio button multiple choice question type and write in my question and the choices for the answer. There are also options to make the questions mandatory and also add an other option as a choice for the respondents to choose if they do not find the given choices appropriate. There are options to choose the way the answers will be displayed and also more advanced options. Let me go ahead and click save and the question is added to the survey. So this way, one can build a questionnaire by choosing the different question types. Now, notice that if your survey questionnaire spans across multiple pages, you can easily rearrange the order of the pages by simply dragging the page options. Under the settings tab, we have the options to customize the logo for the survey, the navigation options, the end page, or even add logic. To learn more about these options in detail, please refer to our help documentation, videos, or webinars. Under the Themes tab, you can customize the look and feel of your survey. Here, you can even customize or create your own theme. Just click the plus button and you'll be given the options to customize your theme. You have options to customize the color themes, fonts, opacity, the background patterns, and there is also an option to upload your own background image. And as you make the customization, you'll get a real-time preview of the changes. Once you're done with customizing your themes, just hit Save and Apply give a name for the theme you've customized and the theme will be saved under your my themes option and applied to the survey as well zoho survey integrates with zoho products like crm sales iq zoho sheet and also third-party applications like google sheets all right now let's take a preview of the survey to see how it's going to look to the respondents before we launch our survey zoho survey gives you a preview of how your survey is going to look on different devices of your respondents which is pretty cool if you ask me. To launch the survey, we'll go to the Launch tab and hit the Publish button. And our survey will be published. You can use the URL that's generated to send out your survey to your respondents so they can access and respond to your survey. Now, there are a bunch of options available to distribute your survey. You can set visibility for your survey, embed it on your website or blog, even enable offline access, you can also buy responses from panels of audience from Zoho. You can target the types of people you want to hear from based on specific attributes like country, gender, age, income, etc. Send bulk emails to your contacts from within Zoho survey, or if you need to do it on a larger scale, then run email campaigns on Zoho campaigns or MailChimp. You can also post it on your Facebook pages, enable restrictions and password protection, or close your survey to stop receiving responses. Once you start receiving responses to your survey, you can see the results in the dashboard or a detailed report in the report section. The My Surveys page is where you can see the list of all the surveys you've created. On the left panel, you get information about the total number of surveys you've created, how many have been published, and how many are drafts. So you go ahead and click the survey you want to see the results for, and you'll get a summary of your survey. You'll find the status of the particular survey, whether it's still active or has been closed to stop receiving responses, whether it's been published and when the last response has been collected, a summary of the responses volume, a quick glance at the survey questions, etc. To get the reports, you go to the reports tab in the left menu and you'll get a summary of all the responses to each question. You can filter the responses using the predefined filters or you can create your own filters. You also have options to create custom, cross-tab and trend reports. You can switch to the individual responses tab and filter more to view their responses individually. You can also share your reports with colleagues, survey respondents, or with organizations. And that's it for now. I believe you are ready to create your first survey in Zoho Survey. So go ahead and create your surveys. And if you need any help with your surveys, you can write to us by simply going to the profile pic at the right top and choose support. Also, be sure to check out our help articles, videos, and webinars by clicking help. Thank you very much for watching.